No, but they'll like... Oh wait, this. That way they don't gain life from this. And then we attack with both. Yes. It's this way they don't gain life because there's no actual, it's not a fight spell. Yeah! <laughs> nice. This deck is just angry. Hey everybody, what's up, what's going on? My name's Kyle. Thank you for stopping by to check out my video on my channel, Arena Hacks. Today, I just whipped together some uh, a new Garul deck, uh, just using trying to use a lot of the new cards from the new set. Um, I think I did do a Garul when, during the Innistrad, uh, during the Crimson Vow, I think, yeah, I did play around with Garul and Helena and Lana when they were new. So, uh, yeah, I'm basically just trying to incorporate some of the new Kamigawa cards and seeing how uh, Garul does or how uh, Kamigawa has affected Gruul, and pretty good with the Lizard Blades. Uh, I'm putting Lizard Blades in a Gruul deck is actually pretty dang fun. Uh, so this is the deck I came up with, prim primarily green. Lots of green spells in it. Let's take a look at the stats here. Uh, yeah, this all changed recently too, the recent update. So uh, yeah, 17 creatures, 19 non-creatures, but there is seven cards. Seven of those non-creatures are enchantments that actually either become creatures or create creatures right away. So we do have actually more creatures than what it, excuse me, what it looks like here. Uh, 24 green and only 15 red. Like I said, we're heavier on green than red. Breakdown of our creatures, scroll all the way down, 24 lands. Uh, we do have a low mana average at 1.9, but I actually still kind of like the 24 lands. Uh, we do really want to get to four mana for the our Toskies, for our Helena Lanas. That's what these six cards are. So getting back to the deck, get back to the deck, there we go. So these are our four, our six four drops, three of each of these. Lots of card draw with the Toski, uh, lots of uh, hasty action, plus one, plus one counters, build up our creatures, smashing for lots of damage. We also got reach and first strike with Helena and Alana. Great way to build and grow on our creatures because uh, they're not, none of them are really all that big and strong. One ones, two threes, three threes. You know, this creates a two, two. You know, 1-1, one, one. nothing super huge in this deck. So we need a way for our stuff to grow. So Helena and Lana is a really great way of doing that. Lots of great card draw with Toski. I love it. Uncounterable, indestructible. You know, you all know how much I love Toski. Then we also have Werewolf Pack Leader. So when we get the Pack Tactics, we do get extra card draw this way as well. Also, 2-mana, 3-3 three, three is also great value. We have card draw in the Rune of Might. Only two copies. Just something I wanted in there. Just a little zest here and there of extra trample. We can get trample through the Werewolf Pack Leader's ability uh as well as uh, no that's about it and then just rune of might and rune of might gives trample to any creature we put it on it goes really good on the lizard blades because the lizard blades are now a 2-2 double strike with trample and basically they equipped and become an ember cleave uh <laughs> they they don't give plus one I know they do give plus one plus one because the rune of might does it and because they are a creature and equipment and rune of might works good on being enchanting creatures and still works on equipment right it gives the same it allows the equipment to give the same boost to the creature um, regardless of the lizard blades being equipped or not that rune of might is still doing going to be giving value either to the creature that's equipped with lizard blades or lizard blades itself as a creature so really handy really fun to get and get that combo going uh, if you can draw into both of those cards master's rebuke is another one of the new cards that is in this uh, deck and I really like it just because it's it's a rabid bite, but it's instant speed. So, yeah, I've talked about that in a past video before. It's just awesome. Uh, you know, great. It's not even a fight spell. It's just your da your creature doing damage to your opponents. So it's like what I like to call a non-contact fight spell. Your creature's not taking any damage from the creature you're targeting. And it's instant speed. So uh, if you're targeting a creature with death touch, your creature's not taking any damage. So it makes it a lot safer and better for us. Uh, Blizzard Brawl is our other four copies of removal in this deck. It's sorcery speed, but we we do have the snows to uh, in help engage it or make it better. So we do get that extra power boost as well as indestructible until end of turn when we use it. So it's great pre-combat, clear up some attack lanes, get some extra power on the board and indestructible on a good creature that we then attack into. Goes great uh, pre-combat on Helena and Lana. They become indestructible. They do their damage, their fight. Then they have that extra power boost, which puts an extra plus one, plus one counter on another creature that we have. Goes great putting counters on Toski, even giving Toski haste right away. Really cool. Uh, 
And then three ranger classes. Again, this is another way uh, on level two to build our creatures and get them to grow and get bigger. Later in the game, goes great on lizard blades with the double strike. Uh, unfortunately, the plus one plus encounters on, on any of our uh, equipment creatures, those plus one counters don't have their effect carried over to the creature that the equipment is equipped to. Uh, it just gives it to the boost to the creature equipment with them itself. Two copies of Snakeskin Veil, just a little bit of extra protection, just kind of like the, the Rune of Might. We just want to sneak in that little extra bit of, uh, of trample and stuff like that to really help get our damage through Snakeskin Veil. Just sneak in that little extra bit of protection here and there to help our creatures hold on that extra turn longer so we can find that lethal damage. This is all I already talked about. Rabbit Battery is another uh, equipment creature we have in this deck from the new set. It's a one mana, one one with haste, which is always really good. And for one red mana, we can equip it, and it gives plus one, plus one, and haste to the equipped creature. I love that it gives plus one, plus one. So as long as this creature is not modified in any way, it is still giving its power and toughness boost to the creature it's equipped to, plus it's giving haste. So it's not just giving haste, which uh, I really like. They would definitely have to be a common instead of an uncommon uh, if all it did was give haste. Uh, and this is another one of our creatures. Um, uh, Ranger class is one of those enchantments I mentioned that is doesn't count as a creature in the stats, but it creates a creature on entry. This one creates a creature uh, a few turns down the road. Uh, what it does at first, for one mana, we get one damage to our opponent, and then the next turn, as long as this enchantment's still on the field, we get a plus one, plus one counter on the next creature we play, and then uh, we get this creature after that, the third turn. Uh, it's a 2-2 two -two with haste, and if a creature dealt damage by a source we control, would die exile instead. So that turns all our damage spells, all our fight spells. Anyway, we have a basically uh, killing creatures because we're doing we're killing our opponent's creatures all with damage and stuff like that So anyway, we have killing our opponent's creatures is going to cause them to get exiled instead and that is super super powerful This is actually a really good one drop love having it in the deck goes really good in this gruel kind of synergy No creature lands uh, just field of ruin to help deal with our opponent's creature lands lots of snows because we want to make sure we're able to uh, Get our when we get our blizzard brawl whenever we find it or if we already have it off the start We want to get to it as fast as possible get that indestructible and really get things cooking. So I think that's it for the uh, deck intro. I think I'll leave it there and get to the gameplay. But before I do, always remember to hit that subscribe button if you're watching my videos and you like what I'm up to and what I'm doing. Also remember to hit the thumbs up for all my videos too because it just helps support the channel. And I really appreciate all you guys who do that, guys and girls out there that do that. Also leave a comment and let me know how it's going, what's going on, and what you think of it everything I'm doing, any ideas, any suggestions, and it also helps support the channel. So I all appreciate, I appreciate all of that stuff. Also stay tuned to the end wrap up after the gameplay, because I'm going to actually show you something really cool in this kind of view of the uh, deck editor and deck builder. This whole deck tab when you're in this exact setup if you view right here, I'm going to show you something cool. So pay attention to that. Let's go watch those games now. Ooh, okay. And we go first, too. Ooh, this is a tough call. I really want to do pack leader second turn. Hmm, I guess we just go with ranger class second turn. Yeah. Because I really want to get this out first turn. I'm going to need these both for green to go pack leader. But, which means I can't cast pack leader this turn. Too bad I can't equip this to the wolf. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, what a jerk. Play this now? Or go for damage by uh, leveling up class? If this makes it back around to us, then we can level up class next turn. Try that. Oh, there is some sticks. So they might have another burn or bounce spell. Still attacking with this anyway. Another burn spell. Jeez. <clears throat> Do you have any creatures or anything? I guess not. Let's level this up now. Do pack leader next turn. Maybe they'll use their more removal. Bounce spell now, finally, right? Yeah. What if, they, if you control that permanent draw card? They did not. 
Let's throw this on green. Get you out there cooking. Let's just level this up again. So we can keep, uh, just see what's coming up and everything. Yeah, I know they have nothing for their burn spell unless they can bounce or destroy this somehow, which with blue and red, I don't think they could destroy it. Maybe bounce it to our hand. Which means we'd get another wolf and everything. I'm not too disappointed with that. We still see our what we got next. That's extremely bad. We can pack leader Blizzard Brawl it though. Can't attack with pack leader, which is unfortunate. Treasure. They have mana. What do they do? They bounce it to their hand or something? Another one of these, probably. Three copies, why not? They have something. What the heck? What did they discard? Okay, nice. Right, so we still get it. Sweet deal. Just to get more of a board presence, we do that. So they're digging now. They'll stop four mana after they get whatever. They only got seven cards, I think. Yeah. Now get what? Two of them? Ugh. Ugh. And then they have five mana left. And they have, yeah, entered the battlefield this turn. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So they'll only have this four. For the remainder of the turn. That's not enough for, like, any kind of board wipe. They double spelling it? They didn't reveal a dragon, are they double spelling it and exiling it too? What a douche hole. <laughs> okay, this guy's got haste, so this is good. We got four damage coming in and a Toski, which can survive damage. It's indestructible. We're getting card draw off of all this stuff. Should have maybe got one extra damage in there, but this way we have m mana for spells that we draw. Hmm. Hmm. I say we hold on to Rabbit Battery. Yeah, we don't level that up now. We'll hold Master's Rebuke just in case they place something that we can target it with. Yes! Got him. Nice. <clears throat> I like it. It's hard to not have anything less than, or anything, what I'm trying to say here. It's hard with this deck to not have an opening hand with two drops in it. I think that's what I'm trying to say here. It's a tough cause. All the while I was trying to figure out which one of these two drops to play first. I guess I don't I don't know why Ranger class over anything else just because I can I don't know there's really no reason particular reason for that decision. <laughs> hmm. get pack leader out attack with wolf they probably won't block because they want to try building this up we do have the three uh, snows now so blizzard brawl will give the plus one oh and we get indestructible so if they do make things bigger we should still be able for it oh, oh three four we should still be able to do it I mean we're not blocking this attack that's coming in which sucks ouch but yeah, Blizzard Brawl, we can kill that thing hard. And that's only one mana. This is two. I like that. We do that. Smash. And then we get a card draw because of pack tactics. 
spread out some of our counters. Thank you. <laughs> A little nice from the opponent. Things are big now. We have protection. That was a sick draw. Ooh, dirt. <laughs> I don't. Not really dirty. It's not like it's a dirty player. It's just a good card. But that sucks because I'm almost sure they're going for not lifelink. I was thinking lifelink. They go for haste instead, <clears throat> and they play it. I was thinking. I was just about to say maybe they have lifelink in hand. Uh, maybe they don't. <laughs> okay. Attack with Runeforge. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. We have Double Strike here. This can be kind of nice. We can, we can equip because it's colorless to equip. We can only block one. We can go Toski and start getting some card draw rolling. If they have Trample, which they probably do, Toski won't be much of a blocker. I say we get Toski cooking. We've also got card draw with pack tactics. So we'll throw it on our wolf, or our, yeah, pack leader this time, or werewolf. Too bad that wasn't like literally just like red or I don't know. I guess we could still get a red or and or a green. Dang. I was really hoping for, I was just about to say, a green would be a little more preferable. Well, let's do that. They're down to three. I wasn't even paying attention to their health total. They're, they are down to three. They need to do 12 to us. Wow. Ooh, that's a good start for them. As long as they don't got trample. They don't have free runes because they don't have the naturalist out. There's another mana. They can do one more rune now. And they won't get... Yeah, unless it's the green rune, which they could do. The rune of might. No, okay. So they're putting some power on this guy now. They're trying to spread out their damage because they don't have trample. No attacks. Probably a smart move from them. So we need three damage, any one of these guys. We need this guy, we need our Toski to do three damage somehow. Well, one attacker is getting around. We can actually just play Rabbit Battery, and because of this, that's enough. And then we can just play another Rabbit Battery anyways, because they have haste. And then we just have enough attackers attacking. It should be enough damage getting around, and let's spread out some of this stuff here. <laughs> Counters, yeah, that's enough. Mmm, gruel, man. Ooh. Nice. Can't complain. All we need is one more land and we are uh, on our way to some Helena Alana nonsense. We have a second turn play. Which way do we go? Ranger class or blizzard lades? <laughs> I actually said it by accident, but I kind of like, I kind of knew I was saying it at the same time I was saying it. <laughs> this is tough. Huh. Let's throw down another green. I don't know particularly why. Get a wolf on the field. Wolf token is on our side. What do they got? Lifeling. That's disgusting. I doubt they'll attack. I would love to take that trade. I'll take it all day long. Yeah. Didn't think they would. I'm really hoping for that. Hmm. Uh, I say we do this now while we get have the chance, instead of upping our class. Wolf will survive, and we'll get three damage through to gain two life from the combat, or not combat technically, but whatever. Gain two life, we made him lose three.
oh, this is a different art for Kiki Jiki. Okay, I'm like, what? Is this? What's going on? What is this creating this? But yeah, okay. Damn. Oh man, I really wanted, uh, really wanted mana. We could play this and we get a counter from this. Next creature spell that gets your thing into thing. Let's just go this way. Just so it's a 2 2. Attack in. I doubt they'll trade. They might. Just keep making threats. So, with this and their second step, draw and discard, I think. Draw two, discard, what is it? Oh, discard up to two, draw that many. Okay. They discard one here, another, uh, another Kiki Jiki. Well, what is it that when you play it, it's fate? Whoa, stop flickering. <laughs> Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay, so they got Trample coming. <clears throat> We's got Trample too, it's cool. We're not getting that land. Why are we not getting that land game? Come on. So it would be a 3-3 trample double strike, which would actually be pretty good. We can get some damage in. Some good damage in. I really want to draw the cards so we can try to get to four, to Atlanta, Atlanta a little sooner. Yeah, let's do it. On the lizard blades. I almost said it wrong that time. Let's pray for that freaking land. It better be untapped. Six damage, coming in hot. Boom, boom. Okay, so they get this guy now. They can start making copies. That's going to be bad if they start one mana each turn. They can copy their this guy. So there's their rune of might. Rune of trample for one mana. And there's four mana left. They can cast four more runes if they have them. Oh, that's disgusting. So they're going to be doing huge damage by the look by the looks of it. Oh, and there they go with three runes now. So if they have any more runes, they can just keep playing them. No, that's it. Okay. Damn it. So let's just go in with the lizard blades again. See what they block with. I would imagine they're probably going to try something for blocking. We have the uh, Master's Rebuke. What do I take out, though? They can, like, this guy, do I take out Kiki Jiki? Do I take out the, well, they actually have to block in order for me to be able to take out the big guy. So they're taking all six damage. They currently do have free runes, though. Ugh. <laughs> mm, I really want to go for Kiki Jiki, but they got life gain here, and then they don't have free runes if we hit one of these. But then they're just going to get another rune, copy rune forge champion. Maybe we go champion. They can copy naturalist. Get some more life gain, but maybe we can do something else about that. Let's take out Runeforge. So they can't use Kiki Jiki to copy it. <clears throat> Mana would be really friggin' swell. Like, j literally one more. Like, literally just one more would, like, oh my god. Would we start doing crazy stuff? We'd be getting at least two plus one counters on our Lizard Blades every turn. We'd probably easily be able to level up our class, save mana for a review. Like, we'd be doing really cool stuff. So I figured they'd do that. For the rest of the turn, they got two less on stuff. No blocks. They gained two life here, that sucks. All right, seven. We got six damage. <gasps> no. No, but they'll like, Oh wait, this. That way they don't gain life from this. And then we attack with both. Yes. 
This way they don't gain life because there's no actual, it's not a fight spell. Yeah! <laughs> nice. This deck is just angry. I think we got a molly. We're a little too slow. Our only creatures are huge in mana. This is no good if we don't have creatures. This is no good if we don't have creatures. And this is only as good as card draw. Not playing on a land, so. This is more keepable. I really don't want to get rid of any cards. Oh, that's so shitty. Oh, that really sucks. That's painful. Oh, damn, that goes so good with Toski. You start building up Toski and attacking and ugh. ugh. But we need to recover from mulliganing, so we need our card draw. And we need at least four mana this game. Okay, so, okay, we get this back right away. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> Werewolf pack we are on the field, ready to do some damage. Hopefully we get a snow land so Blizzard Brawl will be ready to rock and roll. Looks like, oh crap. <laughs> so what are they taking? Toski, Helena, Alana, what, they, what you taking? Rebuke? That'd be annoying. Is that what it's called? Rebuke? Yeah, Master's Rebuke. They've got good choices. They've got a lot of good choices right here. If I were them, I'd probably go for one of our four drops, because you're making something cost two extra mana. So we're guaranteed to cast Blizzard Brawl. We're only one away from rebuke, so they do take Helena and Lana. Good for them. I th actually think that was a pretty good choice on their part. I'm still kind of pissed about it. So we don't have the three snow mana. We don't have the snow permanents for Blizzard Brawl to give indestructible. So I say we rebuke to get rid of their three damage in the air. We do our own three damage. And get this party started. And is that a, a what do you call it, Doom Scar? And here comes the exile, a big fat exile. You're just underwhelming. And what really sucks is because we won't be able to do anything. We won't be able to have haste not on our Toski if we get a like rabbit battery or something. Damn, that sucks. So next turn we out with the snow. And this will at least give plus one O. Indestructible doesn't matter because Toski already has it. But we can still do that. A plus to put a counter on something. If they minus, Emperor just dies anyways. And they'll probably just play another one. After I attack with Toski, and it's an exile, so Toski's indestructible, doesn't do anything. Ugh. <laughs> okay, get some angels. That's brutal. Because now our Toski can't kill their angels. Ay, 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 they can plus that thing. Like, all this We've stuff they can do. Totally unfair. All right, two, and then three, we can hit the 5-5. Five five. This really sucks. Mm, this sucks. We have to attack. Let's go for the Emperor. They're going to block with the Angel anyways, whether we go for their face or the Emperor, because they wouldn't want to let us get card draw, so they'd block anyways, regardless. 
might as well hope that they don't block and go for the Emperor. <laughs> Untapped land would not be terrible because we can cast Helena Lana, or we could also go with another Helena Lana or something else that I can't think of right now that would be awesome. I can't think of a lot. We need, yeah, we just don't have enough power on the board. 4-4 four, four Angels too much. It's got Vigilance. They're going to put another counter on it, give it first strike. That's what I do. Plus up, attack with your Angel. It's got Vigilance, so you still have it as a blocker. It's also a 5-5 five, five because of the counter. And then I can't attack with Toski, even if I get a land and play this, which they can see. Um, Toski then becomes what? A 3-3? Three, three? Yeah, that's it. And then I attack with a 3-3 three, three and your 5-5 five, five can still block it just fine. <laughs> they sure are taking a long time to decide though. <sighs> All right, here we go. So they take the exile this instead. Is what you get for hurting my people. Maybe there are things we could draw into that, like, I don't know. We could draw into some hexproof protection so that they can't do the minus two thing. And if we don't get a land for this, an untap land. Watch it be a tap land. This is pretty dang useless too. Hey, I don't know why I'm stringing this song any longer. I'm thinking, like, what do we have? Oh, wow. Yeah, I think we're just done. Nothing that's going to turn this around that's going to give us enough fast enough. They've just got too far ahead. Yeah, now we got to deal with that, too. Ay, ay, ay. Let's go, let's go. Next one. Little sketchy. We might lose value if we don't have a creature to play for this guy's second. Uh... Yeah, we have to cast a creature spell. Ooh. Say we tried anyways. I can't even play this first turn. I didn't even realize that shape. That's bad. Maybe we draw a mountain, an untapped red? Nope. All right, well, we have a decent uh, second turn play, so that's okay. And they're probably going to get value. No, they're not getting value out of their second. Not on their first play, they're not. <laughs> and we do have the lands and the mana to get to Alana Alana, as long as they don't uh, elite spellbinder it again with their <laughs> with their Garul deck. So far, green, red. They've got the same enchantments we've got. All right. That's something we don't have. I looked at it. I was considering putting it in. We do not have a snowman. Now we have snowman for Blizzard Brawl, but we don't have Blizzard Brawl. Why was I thinking Blizzard? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so... I say we attack in, and we can Snakeskin Veil, mas then Master's Rebuke to make it a 4-4, then Rebuke to hit their thing. Or we just play this and sit tight. No, then we won't be able to play both of these. I say we just sit tight, no attacks. We use it for defense, so my uh, if she deals combat damage to a player, she'll try for yeah, yeah, okay. So they attack with this guy. The snakes can veil to make this a 4-4, four, four, and then rebuke to kill him, because he's a he's a 4-4. Four, four. We can also do all that whole sequence while something's on the stack. That's disgusting. Put on account creature you control. That sucks. Uh, ouch. 
Damn. Let's let them attack first, I guess. So well, they can still put a counter. I felt shoot. I should have killed something. Dang. Okay, not bad. They'll still have these two guys. That's really annoying. They're running low on cards, though, so hopefully all those trades allows us to kind of pull ahead in some way. So are we going to play this, let them hit for four, and then try so that we can make it 3-4 uh, instead? with the second turn effect from this. I think that may be greedy. That may be a bit greedy. Let's get a creature on the board. Oh, I didn't put any creature lands in this deck. I put Field of Ruins, but uh, that's okay. We got Field of Ruins. We need to, it's nice to have lots of snows to make sure our Blizzard Brawls are always powerful. Yikes. No good attacks, because we got the first strike. Oh, that's super duper annoying now. We need creatures. Hopefully we get a creature, so that next turn... Cancel. So that uh, next turn we can uh, get some value out of their enchantment here. They can still attack in with their wolf pretty safely. These guys can't attack in. We're down to two, they're down to two. Ugh, I don't like... <laughs> Where's our pack leader? We had one, didn't we? Yeah, I went down swinging. Taking out a lot of their good stuff. I would imagine pack leader's coming at us right now. Can't see why not. They're ahead of us in life total. They need to try to get some damage going. Ugh, I don't like these guys attacking with... It's a lot of damage though. Five, seven damage. I say we probably do need to take a block here. Damn, they do have someone. What do they have? Uh, nothing? Nothing? Awesome. Okay. Still take five. Gross. Three to reconfigure, so they do have it. Encrypt creature, just combat damage, you like sacrifice, so you just card your hand and draw three cards. So they either want the Ogre Head Helm to do damage to us, or they want to put it on a creature and then that creature will do damage to us. Huh. Well, we can get a pretty sick rabbit battery. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it's a creature, I guess, so let's... <laughs> okay. Do we attack with it though, or do we just attack with Homeland and we use it for blocking? I think maybe we do that. I think they're definitely ahead of us and we need to kind of be more blocking, block their stuff. It's too bad with these creature equipment, they didn't make one that's like, equipped creature gets plus X plus X, where X is the power and toughness, or plex x plus some other variable like y plus x plus y, x is equal to the creature's power, y is equal to their toughness, right? So basically, whatever power and toughness the equipment creature is, is what it's passing on to the equipped creature, plus some other kind of ability, in this case with the battery, haste. That's gross. You suck, man. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. Go ahead. Attack. You want to sacrifice your uh, your werewolf pack leader? Because it's the equipped creature that you have to... Uh, or equipped to uh, sacrifice it. Yeah. You can discard your hand and what? Draw how many? Three? Ew, that's gross. But they have to sacrifice their pack leader, which I'm okay with. Damn, they're 
at 17 still? That is not nice. So they do sack it, discard their force, draw three cards. Ugh. I do not like them drawing more cards. Alright, that's pretty annoying. It's not bad for us. Keep Helena and Lana back this time, attack with everybody else. They have to double block to do trades and they'll the trades will be pretty favorable for us. We also do have snake skin to try to avoid a trade. Second level they get a counter on two creatures. And then they get what this dragon thing, this 2-2 two -two flying. Man, that text is small on there. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield and you enjoy, you control pay X X counters on that creature. Five or it gets plus five and trample. Ew, that's gross. So we can use Snakeskin Veil to help protect Alana Alana. So they go plus two, plus two. That's it, just plus two, plus two. So that'll be a five, five. That'll make it a three, four. Damn, we still can't block a five, five if they equip this. But you can definitely block any one of these two with Helena Lana and use the Snakes can Veil before combat to make them do three damage. Then that's also three plus one plus one counters that it's going to be putting on another creature each turn. Hopefully they attack all out here. We might be able to kill them next turn. Depending on what cards they play. They have a lot of mana open still. Okay, what are you doing, my friend? They're going to combat. Oh, they're going all out, like I said, okay. Block the helm, I don't want them to have the option to refresh their hand. Are they doing something? Ninjutsu, oh, that's disgusting. Six, oh man. Yeah, that's no good. That sucks. That's enough, and there's nothing we can do about it, so... Dude, just let it happen. That's just game. We have nothing left in hand. But <laughs> that sucks. Here's a dirty way to cheese in enough damage. That really sucks. Okay, last game we lost a bad shuffle in this game. Wow. Not really bad shuffling, just bad luck. Uh, they had everything on their side the whole game. We basically just struggled to survive. And then they just got lucky in the end. Okay, so that was good. Out of the uh, five games that I'm showing here. Was it five? I think it was five. Yeah, two losses, three wins, so... Slightly higher than 50% win rate uh, in Platinum, so I don't know. I don't think it's too bad. I thought the games that I won were really great. The games I lost were kind of, eh. Like, the second one was pretty good. They just got lucky. First one, yeah, it was just, ugh. That was just terrible. I hated that the first loss. But anyways, it uh, worked out pretty good. I like the order of the games, too. All my wins first, and then the losses later. I like when, they, when it works out in that order. Makes things a lot nicer for me. But let's do that little thing I uh, was telling you about before we got to the gameplay. It's actually really neat. Um, the program will actually sort your cards uh, by certain things. Uh, I first initially discovered it by just having this accidentally sitting in the search bar because I was looking for Snowlands. Not even in this deck. It was a different deck. And then all of a sudden it started separating my cards into two different layers and still had the, 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 mana, the mana rows or columns. And then it did two different layers of in each column separate I'm like why and it's because you can actually separate so all my snow stuff snow instant all my snow lands these are all my non snow lands and it separates them all you get them all down here all your non snow uh, snow stuff so you can do it's whatever you do in the search bar which is actually what you're 
filtering out up here. So this is all snow stuff here, right? So that's really what I've always used this for. But yeah, you actually, oh, you have to have this in full size. Click this arrow and have it full size in order to have it separate. Makes sense. We can't even see what we're looking at at cards anyway. So we're actually just separating our deck. I never knew this could actually do this. This is a really cool feature. So I thought I'd share it with everyone. Um, but yeah, we can do it with uh, other things. What other? Uh, let's go with... Uh, oops, that's a W. Enchant. And there we go. All of our enchantments here. Everything else here. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Ooh, I know a good one. There we go, it shows how many artifacts we have up there. And it's actually really neat. I think I was doing this, I was looking into zombies or something like that, and I accidentally had snow up there, and that's when I figured out how this all works. And then I separated, what was it, I think, uh... no, it was not zombies, it was something else. And I separated stuff with haste, and I'm like, I thought I had more haste in this deck than that. And it was really crazy, so I used haste. Um, I think we can actually probably use that here. And see what it does. Yeah, haste. So we have a decent amount of haste. Yeah, this gives haste with the uh, plus one counter things that it does. So I just thought that was all really cool. We hit X and everything goes back to normal. Pretty cool, right? Let me know what you think of that trick. If you're going to use it, I, like I said with the other deck, it helped, helped me find that thing. I was like, man, I thought this deck was different for that. And no, it doesn't have as many of whatever it was. I can't remember it now. I'm pretty sure it was haste. Pretty sure it was haste, yeah. It was a deck with creatures attacking, and it was haste. That I was like, oh, I thought I had more haste in this deck. This deck is all about creatures attacking, so I can get those daily challenges done when you need creatures to attack. But anyways, yeah, that's how I discovered this. It's actually really cool. It helped me discover that I didn't have as much haste in that deck as I thought I did. And uh, yeah, really cool. Just saw a few neat things about this deck that I wasn't quite aware of either. So uh, let me know what you think of the deck. What do you think of that little trick? Are you going to use it? try it out see how it works see how you like it also like i always say uh remember to subscribe and do all that stuff thumbs up for the video leave a comment yeah definitely comment about that little trick i just showed you comment about the deck you saw today uh let me know how it's going and i'll see you all the next video have a great day cheers